Faith, family, and talent. Chad Tucker shows us one of Roy's folks puts it all in his art. Most people, like, you'll see them doing paintings and cartoon characters, but you don't really find too many portrait artists. For Marcus Lowry, this came naturally. I didn't know that I could really do this until like two years ago. That's when I really, that's when I got noticed. It didn't take long for his pencil sketch drawings to grow from this to this. I don't, I don't know where portraits came from, but I'm thankful that, that, I, uh, that I got this talent. But what to do with your newfound talent? He turned to his faith and the inspiration in the next room over. I want to be able to make my son happy. I just didn't know what I was going to do. And so one day I had prayed and I was like, God, just show me, show me what you want me to do. And then little do you know, I mean, I started getting paid off of my art. <laughs> I mean, and then look where it's gotten me. His work now helps people celebrate life and heal from loss. Like I said, I've done a lot of portraits where I would add in the family member who passed away in with a cousin or a child that, that the person never was able to meet. So I was able to bring him peace. We all have a calling. Marcus Lowry is answering his. You know, it, it motivates me even more, like having my fiance and my son standing behind me, that's, re that's what really motivates me. Cause I want my son to look back on, on his dad and just be like, you know, my dad, he, he did something with his life and he didn't give up on his dreams. In Ashboro, looking for Roy's folks. Chad Tucker. I mean, I believe everybody really has a talent. Fox A News. God didn't put you on this earth for no reason. And you can check out more of Marcus's work on Facebook and Instagram. Just search for Ecstatic Art. Well, it's